equals two. And uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dale Lee, an instructional designer in TLC and Quali senior instructional designer. And today's session, uh, we will go over how to create and modify assignment and quizzes. So let me share my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. So, okay, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, today we will focus on the assignment and quizzes. So first, let me explain how assignment and the grade are uh, related to each other in Canvas. So if you create any graded assignment in this assignment menu, they will appear as a column in the grade book in grade menu in Canvas courses. So there are five different types of uh, course activities that you can add into this assignment menus. First one is uh, graded discussion. If you have any discussion activities, you can create the graded discussion. And you can also add graded quizzes for midterm or final exam. And if you use the attendance, a Canvas will automatically add roll call attendance menu in the assi assignment menus. And you can also create the graded assignment, for example, final paper or final project for this assignment. So if you click assignment, you will see these two menus at the top right hand corner of the page. So what I mean is group is you can create the assignment group and there are two purpose of uh, assignment group. So first one is to organize uh, your all of the assignment in your courses. And second is you can assign the weight to each assignment group so the canvas can automatically uh, calculate the final grade based on the assignment at the weight. So in order to create assignment group, you can simply click plus group button. You can type the assignment group name here. Before creating the assignment groups, I suggest checking your syllabus first. And you might already have the assignment categories and set the percentages for this assignment. So the assignment group should be same as these categories. So let's go back to assignment and create assignment group. And I will create this question. And I'm going to create the final project. And I will create the in class activities. If you wanna change your assignment group name, you can click these three dots to the left of the bar and click add button and you can change group name here. So example. Now we have assignment groups, but as you can see in this page, there are no assignments in this group. In order to add assignment, you can click this plus sign icon, and then you can choose assignment type from assignment, discussion, quiz, external tool, such as Google assignment, or if you want just not graded assignment, just for practice purpose, or just the formative assessment, you can use this function as well. So let me, add assignment into final project by clicking this plus sign icon and choose type assignment and name final presentation and you can set due date here click this calendar icon and choose the date and you can also set the time and you can give points for this assignment and if you click more options, you can set the details for this assignment. You can give instructions here. 
And if you scroll down, I already set the 100 points for this assignment and it is assigned to final project assignment group. And you can change how this grade will be displayed from the percentage, complete, incomplete, letter grade, GPA scale, or you can create not graded assignment. You can also check box on the do not count this assignment toward the final grade for maybe the draft paper assignment. And if you want your students to submit online, you can choose submission type as online. And you can choose online entry options. Students can type in text entry the box or they can submit their website to URL or they can record videos within the canvas and upload it to the assignment. And you can also upload the file and students can annotate uh, on the file and they can also upload the files. And in order to provide the video assignment, we strongly recommend uh, using text entry because if you use the media recordings, it will take up the students' uh, file storage quota so let me demonstrate uh, how to create the video assignment and how students can submit the video assignment now. So I checked the text entry and I also set the due date. And if you click save and publish, and you can always use the student view to check how this assignment look like from the student perspective. So if I click the student view and students need to submit the video assignment. In this case, they need to use this Kaltura, the rainbow sparkling icon and choose the media they already have or they can use this um, the Kaltura function to record their videos. So let me leave student view and go to assignment. Click and edit. So if you wanna use the student annotation, click student annotation and choose a file from your own computer. No. Or you can choose the file uh, in your course or your the account level courses. So if you, once you upload your file, students can see the file and they can they add text, comment, or they can highlight things. So you can use this function for this assignment. By default, students have unlimited attempts for this assignment, but you can change this to limited. And you can also use the plagiarism detection tool for the assignment, which is called Turnitin. So if you click the Turnitin, you can also change the settings for this plagiarism detection tool. Compare submission against the repository or website content or any publications or scholarly articles. And students will get the similarity report after they submitted uh, this the plagiarism detection the submission. And you can show the report to students immediately or after the assignment is graded or after the due date or never show the report to the students, you can change the settings. And you can create the group assignment. In order to create a group assignment, the first step is to go to people and create the group set here. And they type the group set name maybe final project group. You can also allow self sign up for this group or you can split student into the specific number of groups 
or you can split students into group with the specific number of students per groups. So I will check the, I will create the groups later and click save. Now you can create group in this space by clicking this plus group. I'm gonna type the group one, group two, Now, I don't have any students in my course, so the list of students uh, will show up here and you can assign students into each groups. So let's go back to the assignment. And when you create the group assignment here, when you check box on, you will see this group set here and you can choose the final project group that I have the created now. And you can also do peer review for your students by checking box on this one. And you can manually assign peer reviews or you can automatically assign peer Thank reviews. You. you can make this peer review anonymously by checking box on the, this one. And by default, this assignment is assigned to everyone. And you can also use the, the window like available from to until function. And if you have any students for accommodation or students request an extension of the due date, you need to click this add button. And then the remove the everyone and to select the select of students I don't have any student now, so you will see the students list and you can choose the students and change it to due date for the specific students. Then they can have the extended uh, deadline for this assignment. So do you guys have any questions about creating assignment? No? Okay, let's save. Oh, wrong. Yeah, okay. So let's go back to assignment. And now in order to assign weight to each assignment group, you need to click this three dot at the top right hand of the page and click assignment group weight here. Then you can assign percentages for each assignment group, like 20, 20, 40, and 20. And click save. And then you will see this percentage is, is assigned to each assignment group. You can always rearrange this assignment by dragging up and down to put that in the assignment group. And you can use this three dot function and click edit. You can also drop the low score for this specific assignment group. And if you have like the assignment that you never drop this assignment, click add on assignment and choose that assignment. And if you click save, you will see the one rule is applied to this assignment group. So do you guys have any questions about this assignment group? No? Okay, then let's move on to the quizzes. You will see the same the structure as you see in this assignment. So in order to create quiz, you can simply click this plus quiz button. Now we have two tabs here, details and questions. In detail tab, you can type the question, quiz, quiz top name. There should be the week one, 
quiz and topic one. And you can provide quiz instructions here. And you can also select the quiz type like practice quiz or graded quiz or graded survey. You can give specific point to students once they complete the survey or just use the ungraded survey. This quiz is assigned to exams and you can change it as assignment groups. And you can shuffle answers if you have multiple choice uh, quiz questions. You can limit the time as the specific minutes, like the 90 minutes. And you can also allow multiple attempts and you can keep the quiz score the highest, latest or average or you can allow the specific number of attempts here. And you can also let students see their quiz responses only once after each attempt, or you can let students see the correct answers by setting the specific date. And if you have the multiple questions, you can also show one question at a time. And there are there is the another function, the quiz restrictions. Uh, we don't usually uh, recommend using these functions, but you can require an access code. You can give access code and students can use the code to access these quizzes. But if they the type the incorrect ones, they cannot access to the quiz and you might have the panic email uh, from your students. And this filter IP address is used when students take a quiz in the labs, in the computers. You can also use these assigned functions as we do in the assignment. You can set due date here. And you can also give the window from available from to until. You can also use the edit function for students who need accommodation or require extension of the due date for this quiz. Question tab is a space where you can actually create quiz. You can click this new question to create a quiz. And you can select the multiple choice, shoot first, fill in the blank, fill in multiple blanks, multiple answers, multiple drop downs matching questions. And if you teach any mathematics, you can also create the numerical answer questions or formula questions, and you can simply use the essay questions. So let me create the multiple choice question here. Question here. You can type the possible answers. By default, the first answer is set as correct answer, but as you move your mouse, you will see this green arrow button move. And if you click this one, you can set this answer as a correct answer. And click and update, update questions. Now we create the one questions. So we can use this new question group function if you want your students to pick a specific number of questions among the lot of the many questions. So if you click the new question group, you can type the group name and pick specific number of questions and set the point for each question and click create group. Now we can click this plus sign icon to add question into this question group, or you can move this question to this question group. So by clicking this plus button and I will create three more questions.
because I set the pick three questions, the question should be more than three questions. So you will have this warning, uh, the messages, if you have less than the three questions. Click plus sign like one. One more. And if you want to show question detail, you can check box on and you will see the each question and possible answers here. So do you guys have any questions about the question group? I have a question. Okay. Um, so with the, the question group, is there a way to assign points? So let's say with, with this example, you have four questions and you want the students to pick three. Is there a way to say that whichever three that they pick equals 10 points? Oh, no. Is that the new quiz function or? No, you would have to. So in that question group, you would add the four questions. You would tell Canvas to pick three, but then the point value, you need to divide the 10 by three and say each question is worth that many points. So you'd have to play with it a little bit to get it to do what you want on that one. Okay. And any other questions? Okay, so the next, uh, the final function is find questions. So you can create the question bank and you can use it um, that you already created in other courses. So if you click the find questions, you will see the question bank in your other courses that you already created. So you can select the question and you can also use it. And in order to uh, create the question bank, go to quizzes and click the three dot, the top right hand corner of the page and manage question bank. Here you can add question bank, type the name, and click and you can add a question and you can create a question that we did in the quiz tabs. So in this way, you can create the question bank and you can use it across your courses. So, okay. So let me, uh, So always make sure that you publish uh, your quiz and assignment. And then if you click this quiz, you can moderate this quiz by clicking the moderate quiz and you will have a student's name here. And if you check box this on and click the change extension for one selected students, or if you click this pencil icon, you can give uh, the more attempts or more time for these specific students. In this way, you can moderate uh, your quiz if you have any requests from your students. And you can also manually unlock the quiz for the next attempts if you need it. So, okay. Any other questions about using the assignment or quizzes? No? Okay. Actually, there is a, a new function, the new quiz, uh, which is coming, but um, we are still using the classic quiz. So if you are interested in uh, using new quizzes, go to the settings and click the feature options and you can turn on this new quiz and you can play around with these new creatives and you explore the new functions. And actually, uh, that's all uh, we have in this workshop. And we keep providing uh, drop-in sessions uh, Tuesdays and Wednesday. So on Tuesday, uh, the 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. 
And on Wednesdays, we provide uh, 10 30 a.m. to 12 p.m. So if you have any questions about Canvas, Kaltura, Zoom, or any other instructional technology, please stop by our drop sessions.